there is something that has been reforming our world without us even noticing it. A technological device that guarantees to create a new way to encrypt information and process data. This miracle is called quantum computing. This isn't something easy to follow at first, but after you watch our video, you'll be able to see the advantages this could bring to our society. So what is a quantum computer? Quantum computers are not better or super fast computers, they're different kinds of devices. Personal computers can operate a limited amount of data in a particular time frame because classical computers' bits only work with two chances, either one or zero. However, quantum computers don't get to pick between one and zero. They can be any of them simultaneously. This feature allows quantum computer to be adaptable and provides uncertainty. Scientists consider that quantum computers can better simulate our world than basic computers because nature in real life is uncertain. Hartmut Nevin, the Google Quantum Lab founder, stated, Digital computers use Boolean logic, the language of zeros and ones, while a quantum computer replaces Boolean logic with quantum law. That results in a richer set of operations that allows us to do particular tasks with fewer steps. These possibilities are why this fresh technology is on the radar of many influential organizations. It not only can make tasks quicker, but it can also change the way the internet works. The development of quantum computers is in its early stages, but tech already can revolutionize the future. How will it change our world? There are certain ways quantum computers can affect our lives, but the most crucial one is making complicated calculations quickly. This can help us forecast possibilities in the future, such as highly accurate climate predictions. That's what Dario Gill, director of IBM's research department, thinks. Classical computers manipulate bits with lightning speed. Quantum computers manipulate qubits with exquisite control, providing for the interference of information, like waves on a lake, to amplify the answers we seek in an ocean of possibilities. This sea of possibilities provides a massive number of benefits for society. But here are some of the most notable ways that quantum computers can affect our lives. Data Processing Google recently started sharing its progress in quantum computing, and last year they revealed something that could be the first huge step towards a functional quantum computer. Google created a quantum computer that can produce a 3-minute calculation that would have taken 10,000 years for a basic computer to achieve. This is something that shows us the potential of quantum computers in their fast data processing power. Drug Development Now you may be wondering, what does it have to do with my daily life? This ability of fast computing can improve the pharmaceutical industry and produce better cures faster. The process of creating and analyzing molecules is the greatest challenge in the drug industry. Even supercomputers take some considerable time and energy to calculate and describe the quantum features of a simple molecule. Still, quantum computers could be better at this since they operate with the exact quantum nature of the molecule it attempts to simulate. So this could help us produce powerful treatments for patients with diseases currently incurable. Predicting situations faster than ever. Quantum computing would work not only for medicine. Climate prediction and the stock market could profit from this technology. Guess what a quantum computer could do to calculate and analyze every single event in the stock market? This will expose an accurate result in a small time frame to help companies make better business decisions. No more GameStop situations? The speed of quantum computing would be beneficial, especially in the data science and machine learning industries. Data encryption. Banks and major cybersecurity companies are organizations that could profit from quantum computing. The reason for this is because the quantum dilemma could be used to create unhackable private keys. Through this, people could encrypt and decrypt messages from one location to another without the risk of being hacked. This kind of solid encryption is something that will change our world forever. To decode those messages, hackers would have to break the quantum physics rules, which is almost impossible due to quantum nature's dilemma. Data Transfer the data transfer dynamic we know nowadays is different from the one in quantum technology. With modern technology for data transfer, messages can be intercepted by hackers. Quantum technology offers another type of transaction that cannot be intercepted. This technology is the closest finding we have about teleportation. Quantum particles are involved, which means that if you change one, another will likewise change. With a quantum power internet, a user can distribute a pair of particles to transfer a quantum message. This link is so secure that the message can't be copied or traced. In fact, if someone tries to intercept the message, it gets destroyed before anyone has a chance to read it. Quantum-powered internet is not here to replace our classic internet. It'll be used with different devices. However, the main challenge would be how to distribute these particles among every user on the planet. Who is currently building these devices? The first computers were available for everybody. So many companies are trying to be pioneers in this innovation. Not stating that quantum computers will be something we'll use regularly. 
they'll be most likely in the hands of companies that work on a bigger scale for us, like drug development companies, banks, and cybersecurity companies. But corporations like IBM, Microsoft, and Google are developing the first functional quantum computer. When will you get a quantum computer? You'll probably never have a quantum chip inserted into your laptop or smartphone. You won't get an iPhone Q. Quantum computers have been thought about for decades, but the reason it's taken so long for them to arrive is that they're susceptible to interference. Almost anything can beat a qubit out of the delicate nature of superposition. Consequently, quantum computers have to be kept isolated from all electrical interference forms and chilled down to close to absolute zero that's colder than outer space. They'll mainly be used by academics and businesses who will probably access them remotely. We can already use IBM's quantum computer via its website, so you can even play a card game with it. But we still have some time to wait before quantum computers can do all the things they promise. Now, the best quantum computers have around 50 qubits. That's enough to make them astonishingly powerful because every qubit you add means an exponential rise in processing capacity. But they also have genuinely high error rates due to those problems with interference. They're powerful but not reliable. That means that for now, quantum supremacy claims have to be taken with a pinch of salt. Two years ago, Google published a paper suggesting it had achieved quantum supremacy, the point at which a quantum computer can beat a classical computer. But its competition disputed the claim. IBM said Google had not tapped into the full power of modern supercomputers. Most of the significant breakthroughs so far had been in controlled settings or using problems that we actually know the answer to. In any case, reaching quantum domination doesn't mean quantum computers can do anything useful right now. Researchers have made tremendous progress in developing the algorithms that quantum computers will apply, but the devices themselves still need a lot more work. Quantum computing could change the world, someday. Right now, its future remains uncertain.